Okay, welcome to the video on the introduction to the real number system. Let's take a look at our um, objectives for this lesson. First thing I want to do is go ahead and define what real numbers are, give you kind of a sense of what they are. And then we're going to talk about the real number line. <clears throat> then we're going to talk about ordering numbers on the real number line. Then we'll move on and talk about different type of number systems that make up the real numbers. Okay, and we can see this clearly on the real number line. And then last but not least, we'll look at something called opposites and absolute value. So let's go ahead and define real numbers. Okay, basically, I want to give you kind of a uh, non-mathematical definition to think of real numbers. And that is, basically, real numbers are positive negative numbers that model real life, something that we've always kind of experienced or have a sense of. So let's talk about a few examples here, just so you know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about temperature, for example. Okay. Suppose I gave you the following temperatures in Fahrenheit. Okay, which would be the coldest temperature? Okay, well clearly 100 degrees Fahrenheit, it's a pretty hot day, and the rest of these temperatures are pretty cold. Well hopefully you recognize that zero is cold, but negative 10 is even colder, and then the coldest here is negative 20. Okay, so this is a negative value. Okay, stating, hey, we can actually have some meaning of numbers that we consider to be less than zero. Okay, and that's what negative numbers kind of represent. Let me give you another example. Let's talk about money now. What if we had the following uh, situations in our bank account over a period of time? All right, let's say. Okay, which is the most in your bank account at any one period? Well, we would say, well, $500 is the most. And you would be correct. Okay, that's a positive number. Okay, positive for obviously all kinds of reasons. $60 we'd, is another positive number that means something to us. Now, zero probably means something to us. It means that we have no money. But what's this here, negative $15 mean? Okay, let's think about that for a second. Would you rather be the owner of an account with $0 or negative fifteen dollars. Well, I'd rather have zero dollars than possess negative fifteen dollars. What do you think that means? Well, what that means is like you're in debt fifteen dollars. But it means that you have to get an additional fifteen dollars to get out of debt just to get back to zero money. Okay, so it's another example of positive and negative numbers that we kind of interact. And the, all of these are examples of real numbers. Let me one last. Um, example here, graphical example. Let's take a look at, uh, here's, let's say here's the ocean, the sea. We have this airplane flying along, okay, and the airplane is at a thousand feet, okay, it's a thousand feet above sea level. So sea level is our reference point, that's zero feet, okay, zero feet. Well, if this plane, <clears throat> for whatever reason, goes down to the water, its altitude now is zero feet. But if it starts to sink, some unfortunate circumstance, okay, if it sinks below water, okay, we start measuring its depth below water or below zero in negative numbers. Okay, so maybe it's negative 100 feet. All right, so here's another value that's less than zero. So all of this positive negative kind of numbers are the uh, real numbers or real numbers. Okay, and let's take a look at the real number line. The way we model real numbers is something called the real number line. 